So today, we will be searching around lakes and ponds in search of our state's largest freshwater turtle, the common snapping turtle. All right, so I think I see a turtle. I think it's a snapper. Oh my God, it's a turtle. It's a turtle. Look at that, a snapping turtle. We finally got a turtle. Now this, I'm gonna grab it actually. This is the common snapping turtle. This is probably the biggest turtle we have in the state. Now the reason these guys are so aggressive is because if you look at the underside, they don't have a good um, plastron. The plastron is the underside of the turtle and this right here at the top is the carapace. And the carapace is very sturdy. If I were to attack it in any way, I cannot get through, but if I were to go from the underside, this turtle has a lot of flesh exposed. So these turtles would have to find a way to protect themselves and henceforth the name snapping turtle is given to it. That head is full of muscle. And so this is the largest freshwater turtle, as I said. They prefer any body of water. They can live in any pond, even no matter how disturbed it is. They can be ambush predators and can also be active hunters. They can just wait on the bottom of a pond or a lake until something swims by and just lunges out and grabs it like a fish. Or if it really wants to, it can actually chase after some prey. But these guys are the top of the food chain in the lake. Nothing else really, nothing else really eat them. Uh, but if they're little, little snapping turtles gotta worry for bass, bullfrogs, water snakes, I think, herons, anything really, anything will eat a smaller snapping turtle. But when it's this big, nothing really mess with them. They can take care of themselves as you've seen. He can eat anything from frogs to fish, snakes, um, smaller mammals. Anything that comes across this guy's path will most likely make a small meal for it. If it was any bigger, it probably can take down even larger animals. But I'd say snakes and frogs and the occasional mammal make up a good diet of this reptile. And then just like most turtles, these guys have two nostrils in the front of their head, where their nose is of course, and they can just poke their little head out of the water, wherever they may be, taking a big gulp of air and then go back underwater. These turtles can spend an incredible amount of time underwater. You might see it for a couple minutes and then it will just disappear underwater. And then it will just be trotting along the bottom and it will just poke up somewhere else or it might just stay underwater until it feels the threat has passed. All right, so three ways you can try to pick up the snapping turtle. One is you just grab it from both sides of the shell like this. Another way is you grab the tail and then you slide your hand underneath and try and support the undershell of it. And then the other way is you can grab the back of the shell and then slide your hand right above the turtle's head. There's like a little gap. You can slide your hands under that and try and grab the turtle. But that's kind of a risky move for me. So I'm gonna try and grab it from both sides or the, from the tail and slide my hand under. So wish me luck with that. And yeah. All right, I'm gonna try and show the plastron. If you guys can see that. So usually you can tell turtles from their tails as most turtles will have. Females usually have a longer, thinner tail. Males have a thicker thicker shorter tail so it turns out that this was a female snapping turtle for female turtles the cloaca is a lot closer to the base of the tail and i'm guessing this is a thicker shorter tail now this is a true living dinosaur these guys have remained unchanged for so many years this is probably what it looked like back when the dinosaurs were alive or at least close enough to when its ancestors lived around dinosaurs you can tell the tail looks very dinosaur-esque. It has these three little scoots that protrude from the tail and it just looks so ancient. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of people here too. So that goes back to my previous point. These turtles don't really mind if there are a lot of people around. They can just stick around and not many people will come this close to a snapping turtle and try and pick it up. That's all I got for this common snapping turtle. And yeah, just remember if I can find something like this common snapping turtle, imagine what you can find near you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.